Welcome to week two. You made it through one week, and uh, you're ready to start the next week. And our issue for this week two is America approaching equality within our society. And I try not to repeat what's in the book. I try to give you a little different slant, just like we did in the introduction that was uh, uh, written for you this week. Uh, so let's ask this basic question uh, beyond, is America approaching equality within society? What is equality? I mean, we throw the word around a lot. We think we know what it means, but do we really know what equality is? Well, everyone's different, so we can't say everybody's exactly the same. Even, even twins would say that would be able to identify the differences, even if the rest of us can't quite come up with that difference. But um, do, we look at, do we look at equality in terms of physical characteristics? Well, no. Everybody's a little bit different, although we don't want to hold someone's skin color or their gender against them or their age guys like me that are 60 up what about skill level no everybody's got a little different skill level different knowledge different experience in fact those are the things we like to relish as as personal and individual traits that are truly ours generally we define equality in terms of rights do we have the same rights um, it's an interesting question to ask if our rights truly are inalienable just because we say they are, just because we said at the founding of our country we find these certain rights to be inalienable. That doesn't mean they are, and there certainly are people around the world who are not enjoying inalienable rights. You might even say the right to eat isn't something that everyone has. Uh, depending on the, the situation, we see people right now that are starving to death and do starve to death. So. What are those inalienable rights? Well, to breathe, for sure, I means certain bodily functions that occur regardless of whether somebody will let you do it or not. That, and that's about it, really, if you think about it. We like to think here in America we have these rights, but um, that's a more of an abstract principle, I'd say. So we define our rights through the Constitution. And we started with the Bill of Rights, but when we found that that wasn't enough, then we had to add subsequent uh, amendments. But I think it's kind of important here to remember uh, back in our first term when we took uh, American Government One, uh, John Locke came up with this idea of the social contract. And uh, I, I, when I teach that class, I always ask students what, what, are, what are our duties in that contract. But um, what, are the, what, what, are, what do we give the government in exchange for uh, you know some sense of freedom well we give the government the right to do certain things that Congress creates laws the executive branch executes those laws and then when those laws are questioned as to the constitutionality it goes to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court has the right to decide the constitutionality of a law however it does not have the right to demand that law be brought to them in other words they have to wait until someone appeals a lower court decision to the Supreme Court. So that's a right they give up, but in the end, we give them the right to decide constitutionality. If we use the Supreme Court to establish rights, then how can we disagree with their, dis with their decisions? Uh, obviously, we would disagree with Dred Scott, who said that black people are not really human, even though the founders said everybody's equal. Uh, that was uh, obviously eventually overturned. Uh, and if we disagree with what's going on now in the Supreme Court, what, uh, what can we do about that? And we see that what, what's going on uh, is a lot of state legislatures are trying to attack it from different angles. But eventually, especially in the case of um, gay marriage, that's uh, not working out in the long run if you were against gay marriage at the state level, it's, it's, it's beginning to become a roller coaster, or not a roller coaster, but a, a domino effect toward that. The question is, is this a good system? Is it, does this work? Does this give us those in, inalienable rights? And I would say, overall, it is a good system if you compare it to other governments. It's, but it has its flaws, and that's just part of the whole deal, is that in a constitution or in a democracy, we have to work those differences out, and uh, there are a lot of people involved, and it's kind of a messy thing, but overall, it's a good thing.